Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, Environmental Studies, Lesson 11, Nature of Matter, Part 2. In part 1 of this lesson, we learned, uh, we did some activity, that is we collected some objects and we figured out if there are soft or hard materials or brittle materials so on then we saw what is matter so continuing with uh, in page number 133 there is one part uh, they have given you about what to think read the instance given below and try to remember if you have experienced any how did fragrant particles reach your nose from the opened scent bottle? How do you how do you, how did your nose feel that the neighboring room is being swept? Did you notice any collections of dark particles when the firewood is burnt or kerosene lamp is lit? Now particles present in the matter are visib invisible. Matters is made up of very minute particles, hence visible matter consists of invisible particle. They have given you a part where they have asked what do you mean by matter. Okay, and they have given you two lines. Please write down this definition there. The definition for matter is anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. Anything that has mass and occupies space is called matter. Next activity they have given in your textbook. Collect and paste are the available pictures of matter in the following boxes. You can stick any different kinds of matter in that place. Okay, you can collect the pictures from different magazines or newspapers and just stick them. Then uh, they have given another activity in page number 134. Uh, take materials, make into minute pieces, write their names of matter which you have divided into minute pieces. Collect the powder of the available matter and exhibit in your classroom. Uh, this you can just do it at home itself and uh, keep it for your collections. Okay. So next part is... Properties of matter. What is properties of matter? We are we are going to learn what are the different properties of matter. You understand what is matter, no? If anything that occupies space and has mass is called matter. So we'll understand what are the different properties of matter. Matter has special properties. These properties can be understood with the help of some experiments now so the two main properties of matter are matter occupies space and matter has mass so we will be doing some of the experiments or activities to understand these two concepts what do you mean by matter occupies space and what do you mean by matter has mass so in page number 134 there is an activity second activity given that is so first we will learn about matter occupies space. So the activity which is present on your screen as well as your textbook, I'll read it out for you. Pour the wheat floor or any other floor into a bowl from a box. Again, try to fill the bowl so that the floor does not spill. So here one thing that is uh, important is the floor the should not spill down. Okay, you just put it in the bowl and put it back in the box was it possible yes it was possible did you completely fill the bowl yes what should be done to pour more flour into the bowl and why you can if you pour more uh, flour into the bowl it will spill it was impossible to fill the bowl completely with the entire quantity of the flour present in the box why because the uh, the floor present in the bigger box has more uh, wheat or uh, it has more floor. If you put it in the bowl, it will not be filled and it will overflow, isn't it? Yes. Next, there is one experiment given in page number 135. Put a glass beaker completely filled with water on a plate. 
slowly emerged a stone of approximate size tied into tied with a thread into the beaker as shown in the picture how they have shown you have to do it so what happened when the stone is immersed in the beaker the water spill out so why did the water spill out why it is so think and explain to your friends because it was already full the um the glass the container was already full so the water spilled out next is matter occupies space a matter cannot occupy the place of another at a same time of another's same time write the in your i'm reading out from your textbook children one the page number 135 write the names of some matters around you you have to write anything that has that has mass and occupies space a laptop a phone a pen a water bottle your clothes anything you can write it as an example air is a matter Ma air occupies space in its container air is a matter and it occupies space in the container next one small activity has been given blow air into a balloon particles in the air are rarely distributed so particles of one matter can be accommodated in another in which particles are rarely distributed next activity in page number 136 did some sugar uh, sorry add some sugar or salt into the beaker fully filled with water without allowing water to spill out how is it possible discuss with your teacher so what happens there is if you put salt or sugar into a beaker that is already filled with water the sugar or salt will get mixed with the water okay it does not increase the volume of the water so much so as to it has to be spilled so the next um property is matter has mass now take a weighing balance and note down the position of its needle right here now if you when you take the weighing balance the position of the needle will be in the center because both the weighing balance will be at the same weight put any materials of 50 grams in one pan and note down the positions of the needle right here it will be towards the place where the um uh, you have put the matter okay so that is one experiment that you can understand that matter has mass right so the next part of the lesson we will do it in the next class children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children thank you